setting up a canonical tag or uh, a 301 redirect is pretty simple if you installed the Yoast WordPress SEO plugin that we talked about in a previous section. So if you did, it should still be there in your plugin list. If not, you can just uh, go to the plugin install menu type Y-O-A-S-T and uh, download it. Once you've done that, if you, for instance, want to set up a canonical tag, so like I mentioned in the intro, you might have um, a page that's broken up into several pages because it's a particularly long article. If you scroll down below the body, you'll see this on every poster page. Uh, this is the WordPress SEO by Yoast options and you just click on the advanced tab. It's going to give you a number of different choices here. If you scroll down though, you're going to see one for canonical URL and 301 redirect. Now underneath it says the canonical URL that this page should point to. You just want to put in the original one, okay? It's not going to redirect anybody, but it's going to tell Google that this is the one you consider to be the original. You can also use this if, for instance, you sell things on your website and people can sort them either by price or name or review, you know, four or five stars. and basically all of the same material keeps showing up on that page but they're just changing how they see it but in the URL field the the web address might change it might say something about review or price or alphabetical you don't want Google to think that these are just pages of the same material you can point to one that you consider the the most important one with a 301 redirect you're telling Google that whenever somebody goes to a certain page you want them to immediately be sent to another page. So Canonical's telling them this is the original, but you're not being sent to a new place. You're just It's just for Google. 301 redirect is when you permanently move a page to another place on your site, or for whatever reason you need to change the URLs, you would use a 301 redirect. Okay, so that's basically the difference between a 301 and a Canonical. Uh, I have some notes in the resources in case you, know, you need to check whether you're using the right one. Yoast's WordPress SEO plugin makes this really easy for you. You just type in the original URL that you want to use in either field and it's automatically done.